Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna take you with me in a daily design. Let's just start and see how it goes. I don't really have a plan in mind. The only thing I know is the sentence I'm gonna use, and that is a part of a song from Queen, which is called Innuendo. And the sentence is, you can be anything you wanna be. So let's jump right into it. Anyways. First, I'm going to start by getting rid of this thing. I feel like I'm, I have a mixed feeling about this uh, little bar over here. It is annoying that it just follows me everywhere and it's just like so close to my mouse or whatever. So I usually just place it at the bottom of the screen and pin bar position. I would like it to snap somewhere like on the top here or on the bottom just so that it doesn't move around. And every time I close and open and reopen Photoshop, I have to repin it again. And it was just like a one click, but it is kind of annoying. Today is daily design number 645. So that's nice. It's the 12th of June. And I was thinking I'm, I've been really into like that uh, screen text effect, like CRT or whatever that's called. So that's what we're gonna do it. I want this to be pretty big and bold. So I'm going to grab the type tool, just press T on your keyboard and I'm gonna make a type box like that. I'm gonna paste that text in there and we can remove this other one. And we're gonna go with another font. We're gonna look through Adobe fonts because I just downloaded um, one that I really liked, but I can't remember which one it was. Maybe this one, we'll see. And I'll just make it huge. Okay, I kind of like this. It's going like in the downwards pyramid or something like that. So I'll shorten up my text box. What I'm gonna do next is go to filter and add some blur, Gaussian blur. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. I'm Italian, English isn't my first language. Don't come at me. Also, you guys come at me when I make like spelling mistakes. Come on, man. I'll just give it a three pixel blur. I'll duplicate this layer and I will double click on the Gaussian blur filter on my bottom copy. So double click on that and add more. Probably like 20 looks good to me. And I'll duplicate it and merge them together. Right, so next we're gonna select our top layer and change the blending mode uh, so something like a uh, difference or uh, subtract, exclude one of these. I'm gonna go with exclusion. Um, I'm gonna duplicate the back layer again and probably again. And on this last copy, we're going to add uh, uh, more blur. Blurring is always good. I'm gonna go with some motion blur in here. Obviously not that much, but like that and then add another one, but with a 90 degree angle, okay. And then uh, I might uh, duplicate this and add another blur from the blur gallery, um, an iris blur, nice. I'm gonna add a bunch more blur. Square it up, stretch it out, move it around, and there we go. Press OK. Now we're going to add a gradient map. So go to the Adjustments tab and then Gradient Map. Also these, I don't know if I prefer them the way they were. It just occupied so much less space because it was just like the little icons and not like a big list. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's choose the colors of our gradient map and I'm gonna do something like this. 
I like this gradient map. It's not part of any of my packs yet, but I'm thinking of doing a freebie for you guys. So that's, I'll keep you guys posted. I think I kind of like this. I might add a little more blur to the first copy. Since it's still a smart object, we can still go back and change the effects we put on there. And I'm gonna see the difference it makes. See, I like this little outline border thingy. We like it, it's approved. What I like to do next is I'll select all my layers, group them, duplicate them, merge it. I'm going to, I'm gonna make a new document and we're gonna make it probably like 20 by five, no, 30 by five. Create, and we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna make a little pattern for a, like a CRT, C, whatever that's called, um, pattern. So we're gonna make um, three squares and the width is gonna be 10 and the height is gonna be five. Like that. And we want the rounded edges. We're going to Change the color of this and go with like a really, really RGB blue. And then duplicate this. And we're gonna go with a really bright red. This is gonna be on the left. Wait, this is gonna be on the right. And then the green's gonna be in the middle. Right, nice. You're gonna click on the pattern on these three little lines, new pattern preset. I'm gonna write, name it screen, and you'll find it right over here. So let's go back to our main file and click on our new pattern and look at this. Let me zoom in. Hey, really nice, right? You can double click here and you can make it smaller if you'd like or bigger. I want it to link with the layer and you can change the angle of it as well. I'm going to leave it at zero. Press OK. Now let's zoom out. That's starting to get a little trippy. And I'll change the blending mode to whatever I think fits best. This looks cool. So the multiply, darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, darker color. This looks nice. Um, I just go through them usually and pick whichever one I think fits best with the design. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling overlay. It's always a good one for this type of thing. Uh, darker color as well. So the option is between darker color and overlay. Now I'm going to zoom in here just to see it up close. I'm gonna back, go back and forth. And yeah, I prefer the overlay. I might also duplicate it and uh, go with a divide so that it's like neon bright, uh, but I'm gonna do that and lower the opacity of it because I don't want it to be too bright. And you can actually see there's a pretty cool difference before and after and like a little it just adds a touch of brightness and I like that we're gonna zoom out and I'm pretty happy with how this is looking so I think we can call it quits um, I'm just gonna merge everything together because why not and I'm just gonna toggle on my texture I have some textures over here that I leave in my PSC and I just activate and turn on and turn off whichever ones I want to use for the, the design. That way I don't have to like place my textures in there every time. I know it sounds weird, but it takes me quite a bit of time. I think I'm happy with this, so I'm going to save it up. And yeah, so this is the final result. Let me know what you guys think and what you would have done differently. Also linked in the description down below are gonna be all my gradient map packs and texture packs and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.